Hey there guys, it's Father Dugan 9000 and after two and a half weeks, it's time for the Father Dugan 9000 Q&A session. Hurrah! First up is the Dude McDude who asks, what's your favorite game? I honestly have no idea, but games that I'd rate pretty highly at the moment would be Okami, Kingdom Hearts 2, Crash and Sandy, Prince of Persia Forgotten Sands, and Rayman Revolution. What's your least favorite game? If you mean the entire game, it'd probably be the Chronicles of Narnia, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardo, but if you mean by certain gameplay experiences, it'd be either Big the Cat and Sonic Adventure, or playing through Soul Calibur 3 story mode is awesome mode. By God, he plays terribly. What consoles have you got? A PlayStation, a PlayStation 2, a PSP, an Xbox, an Xbox 360, a dead GameCube, and a Game Boy Advance. What's your favorite Final Fantasy if you had one? I've only got Final Fantasy X, so I'll have to pick that. What's your favorite Father Ted episode? A song for Europe, obviously. Ryan number one gamer asks, what inspired you to do reviews? Well, a few things, but specifically three YouTube reviewers, Gex Up for Quincy and Impulse Kid 86. I liked watching the reviews and I thought I'd give it a shot at reviewing. And well, here I am now with around 96 subscribers and nearly 60,000 upload views altogether. Hooray! And if you want to check out those three YouTube channels, well, they'll be in the link in the description. Are you planning to do any other types of reviews like DVDs or comics? But yes, it's a co-op review too, and a DVD review. But you'll have to guess for yourself as to what it is. Are you planning on doing top 10s? Oh god, no, the last time I tried that I brought Western Civilization to its knees. What's the worst game you ever played? I already answered that. Next. What game systems do you own? Again, I answered that already, sorry. Next is the Masterclaw, who asks, Well, I'd love you to review a Final Fantasy game or a hardcore RPG. Does Dirt of Cerberus count since I'm not a big fan of hardcore RPGs? If you could use a weapon, what would it be? Two come to mind. Decker breaks Brace Hurl from Tuxo Sentai Decker Ranger solely because of how many badass power-ups come with the thing. Or Sonya's keyboard laser gun that also creates mist from Sonic Underground for obvious reasons. What's your goal in life? I have no idea yet, but hopefully to make a 3D platformer about Tails. Will you sing us a song about ponies? Um, ponies, ponies, they eat and poo. I have no more lyrics, so I'm done with tech you. What element would you have? Easy. Flying! Can you answer all of my questions in 25 seconds? You tell me. Is this random enough? Pretty much. Then Entarded asks, Do you own a PS3, and if not, why? I don't, and the reason is simple. I've got about 50 games to finish with just the Xbox 360 and PS2. I don't want to add another 20 to 30 with that list. Plus, my brother saved the PS3 for whatever reason. Probably all the frequent firmware updates. Do you hate the Xbox 360's game library or just like it at all? Actually, no, I'm pretty fine with it. I'm just curious, why'd you ask that? Is it because I don't review them? If that's the reason, then I just prefer doing PS2 games. What's your favorite Ratchet and Clank weapon? I haven't played the game in ages, so I really have no idea. What games company do you love the most? If you mean by publisher, it'd probably be Sega, but by developer, Lord, I don't know. Overall, did you like the company Sierra? You know, the guys that made the Legend of Spyro series and other Spyro games. I do like the Spyro games they made, as well as Simpsons and Run Crash and Sanity, but I haven't played the adventure games they're more well known for, so I won't really say anything. Neo Geo Kitsune asks, I have an idea for what you could review. Either Klonoa Door to Phantom Isle or Klonoa 2 Lumetu's Bale. Well, I've always wanted to play Klonoa 2, so sure. Outstaffs UK asks, what are your top 10 games? Oh god, that's too tough of a question, I cannot answer that, sorry. Maybe, could, could you maybe review Treasure Planet for the PS2 or one of the attack games? Attack 2, so why not? I'll have to try to fix the game with a toothpaste method though, and if it doesn't work then I can't do it. Next, Richard D234 asks, how much anime do you watch to get those songs? What, you mean my intro theme and best on Earth theme? Those are from anime, they're from Super Sentai. The intro theme is the opening theme for Kaisuko Sentai Gokaija by Project R, and the best on Earth theme is the opening theme for Hikari Sentai Maskman by Hironobu Kageyama. Do you review console only games or do you do PC as well? At the moment, there's nothing I really want to review for PC, so it's just console or handheld games at the moment. Did you like Halo Reach? Yeah, it was an okay game. Yeah, there was a lot of fun into it, but I just felt it was meh. It's rather overrated in my opinion, although not as much as Psychonauts. Do you hate licensed games? Everyone watching this might be surprised, but no, I don't hate licensed games. I'm not saying they're all fantastic, but in no way are they bad. Okay, except Narnia. Hell, I might even do a vid on underrated licensed games someday. What hair, do, hair, what hair products do you use? I'm not that vain. Next question. Review Crazy Taxi, please. Sorry, can't do it. I tried, but I couldn't. Basically, if you play the one game once, you play the entire thing, although I will say I did like it. Super Mario Guy 15 asks, what's your favorite food? Usually something pasta related. What are your favorite TV shows? 
The new bunch off the top of my head, Batman, Brave and the Bold, Regular Show, Tom and Jerry, Tokso Sensei, Decker Ranger, Waiting for God, Black Adder, Last of the Summer Line, Top Gear, and Shoujin Sensei, Jetman. What consoles do you own? Again, I already answered that next question. How long will you keep doing reviews? Until I either get bored or there's too much going on in my life at the moment. Are you gay? I have honestly no idea yet, but to be completely honest, I'm every bisexual. What are you going to get for Christmas? Nothing. My family doesn't do Christmas. Although I'll probably watch Christmas with the Joker to compensate for that. Review Resident Evil 1 or Medieval 2. Let's see how far I get in either of them before I think of reviewing them. Alright, so at this point a friend of mine would have come onto the show to ask me questions. But he's absent because he's playing Warhammer 40k Space Rain. Man, he does all this Space Rain, doesn't he? Well, in any case, he sends this old man to represent him. So, old man, ask the questions that Askite was going to ask me. What? Is your name? Father Dugan 9000. What? Is your quest? To review PS2 games and hopefully get from Noah 2 someday. What? Is your favorite color? Give me a minute. Uh, hell? He did ask these questions. Oh. Well, in that case, blue. What? Is the capital of a city? No, no, you cannot ask that. Look, he asked, what is the capital of Indonesia, not Assyria? You'll have to move on to the next question. What is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? What do you mean? An African swallow or a European swallow? Huh? I, I don't know that. Good lord. Also, he wants me to review Golden Axe 2. I'll get to that. Next question! Modern Myth 6277 asks, What's your favorite kind of pillow? Mint. What's your favorite band in general? Too hard to think of, but if I can mention a few, they'd be Red Hot Chili Peppers, Ron Wasserman, Hiro Nobu Kageyama, Psychic Lover, Jin Sonoi, and possibly Gact. Favorite time to rub a cat? When there's one curled up with you in bed. If you could make any type of drink, what would it be? One that could cure all hangovers and is then marketed as vodka. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? Three come to mind. Flying super speed and the ability to transform into the Joker as voiced by Mark Hamill. Review Shrek Fairy Tale Freakdown for the Game Boy Color. Steer Cogran asks, what are your top 5 underrated games? I can't do a top 5, but the 5 that do come to mind are Blue Dragon, Prince of Persia, 2008, Rogue Trooper, and the two Xbox 360 Naruto games made by Ubisoft. Hey, the whole world doesn't revolve around Ultimate Ninja Storm. What's your favorite kind of blanket? A very warm blanket. What's your favorite story in a game? Um, not sure. I did like the story in Psychonauts, even though the game was just meh. And I did like Enslaved Story, which was done very well, and, but I also liked Zone the Enders. I'm honestly not sure. What do you think's the greatest TV show? I'm an indecisive idiot, I'm not, I don't know. What's the best way to eat a sandwich? With your butt. And finally, Latrian asks, I'd like to see a review of possible of Sonic Generations or my favorite Spyro game, Dawn of the Dragon. Well, I was gonna review Sonic Generations anyways, but Dawn of the Dragon might be difficult to review. You see, Dawn of the Dragon is kind of rare in Ireland. It's very hard to find in game stops and usually costs 25 euros, so it's a bit difficult. Oh, speaking of Sonic Generations, I got the demo on Xbox Live and it is frigging awesome. The graphics are wonderful and the gameplay, it's really good. Also, I'm going to explain something that I really should have explained months ago. Askite, you know, the old man guy back there, was confused as to why I gave Wallace and Grant Project Zoo a rating at Jack and Daxter, which is one of his favorite games. So here's an explanation of my rating system. It's based on comparing the games I'm doing to products that I think shows my opinion on them. Like for example, if I start using a rating system based on movies and I played an okay game, I'd give it a rating system of Street Fighter 2, the animated movie, which is just meh. So here's the rating system from best to worst to best. Sweet Life on Deck. Absolute first class bullcrap. If we don't destroy every piece of this, then by God, Rob Liefeld is allowed to draw all official Sonic art until we die. Alvin and the Chipmunks suit. 
very, 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 very evil, and anyone who likes this is either a fanboy, an idiot, or a masochist. Tekken 2. Not completely bad, but still bad. Sonic 06. Either a, an okay game, or something that's actually kind of good. Jack and Daxter, a pretty good game. Saints Row, very good, but it's let down by a few big flaws. Last of this, number one. A really, really fun game that I'll still love ages from now. Ryan Blessed's beard, essentially perfect with no flaws and his godly awesome sauce. And I'm also going to explain the whole Brian Blessed thing. You see, there's a magazine in the UK for the PS3 called Play. And in the June 2010 issue, you know, the one with Infamous 2 on the cover, they had a bunch of lists and one of them was six characters that would be better with Brian Blessed's beard. And so I thought I'd pay tribute to that joke by obsessing over Brian Blessed's beard. Except this is really an occasional thing. Oh, and one more thing. I noticed that Skyline as far as adventure has a Metacritic rating of 82. Yes! The guys who supported it were right and the fanboys were wrong! Hurrah! Alright, that's pretty much it, and I'll see you for my next video. Thank you for asking all your questions. See you guys.